Hello! In this video I'll guide you through a case in ESP um, and how to use the different tools at your disposal to get through the case. Uh, obviously I won't give you the correct answers for this case, I will just show how everything works and then I'll leave it up to you. So let's get started. Uh, to interact with the panel we can open up phases by just aiming the controller. You can see this beam coming out of your hand and pressing the trigger button. So when you press the trigger button, the phase and the details of the phase will uh, appear and then you can select objectives and see more details about those objectives on the right side. So I just selected these three and my first objective is to review the EMR. So you can do that by going to the tablet and you can also pull the tablet up to you by aiming your hand at it and grabbing using the grab button on the controller and I'll go to EMR. So in EMR I have Subjective, Objective, Assessment and Plan tabs. Uh, by clicking on Subjective I can see the history of the patient and all the details that I need. And in Objective I can see the vitals, um, the skin and so on. So everything that I need to get for this case uh, will be in um, objective panel. So I've looked at the EMR and now uh, this objective is completed, as you can see. So let's go through the other ones. Interview the patient. Uh, you can interview the patient by using the microphone. Uh, but let's go through something else first, and that's the notebook. So you can grab the notebook, and I recommend grabbing it with the left hand because it's easier to interact with it using the right hand. And while you're grabbing the notebook, you hold or press and hold the trigger button on that controller and it will turn green. And when you release it, it will create a new note. Uh, so let's try that. I, I will dictate a note uh, to the notebook and it should appear here. I am dictating a note. See, whatever I said will appear here and I can also delete it. So this is a new note. You can make notes about the case. As you get answers from the patient, you can use your notebook to take notes and your faculty will be able to see that. Now, using the microphone, it's just as easy. You grab the microphone and you press and hold down the trigger button while grabbing it. Uh, on that controller, the controller that you're using to grab it. So in this case, I have to interview the patient and I can, in guidance mode, uh, so this won't be available in expert or exam modes, but in guided mode, I have this uh, menu here, which I can access by clicking on the interview guide. So if you are in the EMR, you just click back and then interview guide, and you can go through the pages of the interview guide. So bring it up close to you so you can read it and we can start by saying hello. And the patient's name is Angela, so let's just say hello. Hello, Angela. Hi, nice to meet you, I suppose. So over here on the left side, you have the dialogue history, so you can see all the conversation, the whole conversation that you, that you had with the patient. And um, you can go through the rest of the questions and Angela will continue to talk to you. Uh, this will become green as soon as you just ask one question, but you should go through all the questions and get all the answers so that you know what you need to do for the rest of the phases. So let's just ask one more question. Please state your name and date of birth. My name is Angela Eugenie Atwater and I was born on April 10th, 1986. So as you can see, working as intended, you can go through the whole uh, interview and get the information that you need. Um, so now uh, let's continue to the next phase. So phase uh, by selecting here, confirm and proceed to the next phase, you will get this option to select end phase one. So if you aim the, the beam at it and press it, that will finish phase one. And you can no longer talk to the patient, the interview is finished, you can still take notes, so you can still use the notebook. We're now in phase two, you still have the dialogue history, 
with the patient available to you in case you need it. In phase two, we need to perform the appropriate body examination. So depending on the case, you may need to perform uh, body or physical or psychological exams um, on the patient. Not all of them are needed, so you need to be careful about which ones you select. Uh, only the ones that, that should be necessary for this case are the ones that you that you need to select. So let's select here, no, not breast exam, um, skin exam. Okay, so let's select skin exam and you just send it to EMR and let's do that for this one as well, and this one. As well. So anything that you send to EMR, you can no longer select it here. But you, if you go to the EMR on the tablet and go to the objective panel, you can now see the results of your examination. So all the exams that you requested will appear here. The results will appear here. Proceeding to the next phase, just select confirm and proceed to the next phase and phase two. And now we are in phase three. In phase three, we have to perform a differential diagnosis and this, this panel will appear here. So let me just move the tablet out of the way. And we can use the, um, the filters if we want. So if we're looking for a specific word that starts with a certain letter, we can use these filters at the bottom. We can also use the asterisk filter to show all the options that we have selected. So for differential diagnosis, as soon as you select something, it will become an option that you will submit. So if you don't want it, you have to clear it. And while you have something selected, you can mark it as lead or alternate. And you will see that it also changes there. And you can also mark it as critical differential or not. I'm just going to select four of them with different combinations. And if I go over to the asterisk um, filter, you can see. So you should use the asterisk filter before confirming. So make sure that you have everything and only the things that you want selected here. So this is my final decision. I'm going to confirm and then click submit. So that's done. And I'm going to phase three and phase, uh, to phase four, I'm sorry. I'm going to phase four, I'm ending phase three. And now in phase four, I have to request and evaluate tests. Now we have this new panel where we can request tests. So I'm going to request uh, an X-ray, KG, and a couple more. And I'm going to confirm. Make sure that you that this is your final selection. So you can use the asterisk filter to make sure that you have everything that you want selected and submit. Just like the, the exams, if you go to the objective panel, you can now see the things that the tests that you asked for and their results are here. So if you need to, to see closer, just bring the tablet closer to you and you can see it in more detail. Okay. So all of this is here. If I go to the assessment tab, you can also see the differential diagnosis that I, that I chose. And in the plan, there's nothing yet, but there will be. So moving on to phase five. And in phase four, phase five starts with the diagnosis. So first I'll, I'll have to make a diagnosis and I can uh, select just like with the other panels the things that I think are correct. And once I'm sure of that, I'll confirm and submit. Followed by this is the treatment plan. So the treatment plan comes after the diagnosis and the treatment plan will have uh, a number of questions or uh, things that, that you need to answer. In general, uh, you can read the, the question here. So in this case, it says, Mrs. A, pharmacology, pharmacologic regimen, what would you recommend for the management of Mrs. A's pharmacological, uh, pharmacologic management? So I'm just going to select some random answers just to, to show how it works. So we're now on question two, question three, 
and these are all multiple selections so you can select multiple ones and we're now on four out of four so i'll submit and that completes the treatment plan so just one quick thing besides what i already went through if you want to cancel the the lab if you want to restart it without submitting your score you can just select return to lobby on the tablet and then confirm it if you don't want if you by mistake select it you can press no and go back but let's say that you went through everything and you're sure this is what you want to submit final thing you have to do submit lab attempt and then click on submit plan. so you'll see your time the mastery and a more detailed information about the score here you can go through phase one which is interview you'll see the score that you got same thing for exam patient different differential diagnosis tests diagnosis treatment plan and then the total so all of this information will be available to your faculty and you are now finished with the with this particular case or if you want to repeat it you can just like I'll show you right now, return to the lobby and just play it again in guided or expert mode. Now remember, in expert mode, the interview guide is not available. In exam mode, which is no longer here because I already completed my exam, you will be warned that you can only do exam mode once. And in exam mode, you also don't have the interview guide. Um, so it's exactly like expert. You just have to make sure that when you take the exam, the, submit, the, the score that you submit will be the final one, the one that will be graded. So practice a lot in expert first, and then when you're ready, do the exam. Thank you.